Welcome to Fat Daddy's Outdoor Cooking. We're cooking today. I tell you what, you know, you ever go out to them, go out to eat in the Mexican restaurants, and that sauce is so good, and the chips, you know, they got the little thin chips, and you just tear them up, you know. That's what we're fixing to make, except for the chips. Check this out. So this salsa here is like a fresh salsa, you know, that they they whip up right there in the kitchen at the Mexican restaurant. So this is what this is gonna have. Let me, let me show you the flavors that's going on in this. So we fired up the Patio Master 6000. And on there, we're just going to throw five jalapenos. We'll get them all blackened up real good and charred, grilled. Okay, over here in the pot, we're going to take Mama's canned tomatoes. Smelling good. Get them in the pot. That's what they look like. Just a big old stewed chunk of tomatoes. We're gonna get some onion in there. So let's get this onion chopped up just a little bit. Nothing fancy, it's going through the blender anyway. Four garlic right there and some salt. Just a, just a touch of salt in there. To your liking on that, we'll cut these ends of these cilantro right here. Cut them off. And then what we're going to do is I'm only putting the stems in here right now. I'm not putting this, this top part of the cilantro in there. So we're just going to run real small on these, even though it's going through the blender. So I don't accidentally miss some in the blending. But we're not doing terribly, terribly bunch of it, you know. About right there. into the pot and then I've got a half a jar of tomatoes smell good they look good ready to roll back in the pot now this right here is gonna get over there and it's gonna get into the uh, I'm just gonna put it over on the stove top and just get it simmering over there to get all them flavors together it's pretty much all I'm doing until them peppers and jalapenos are done the jalapenos are grilled got a good char on them, so I'm going straight in half with them all of them and uh, this is the hard part right here because the consistency of the jalapeno, the heatness of it, you never know. So on this part here, you're just going to kind of take it easy. I'm going to gut them. They were hot the other day, so I'm gutting them. And, uh, ooh, they're hot. All right. We're going to get them gutted. And then over into the pot, just let them get in there and, and, and soak some flavor up. Yeah. And then I can adjust it with the guts, the inside of this pepper. I can adjust the temperature. If, if I don't feel like it's got enough little spice to it, I can reach over here when I'm blending and grab some of this love. Whoops, don't put that stem over there. I'll have to go back through it. I forgot to pull the stems off. Yep. All right, she's cooled down a touch, so she ain't scalding hot. I'm going to throw a bunch of, kind of a little handful of cilantro in there. Put what you want in there. Get this in there. I'm going to do half right there. And then uh, let's uh, let's blend this up. Get it. <laughs> I did fail to mention, though, I did cull three of the peppers out of there, the three halves of the peppers, because I wanted to make sure that we're not going too spicy on this mixture. Uh, I like it spicy, but some folks don't. So into the mason jar with that, and then let's do the rest. And then we'll taste it, right? And uh, we'll put just a little bit more cilantro in this side of it. They're all, it's all getting mixed back together, so... Uh, we'll taste this and see where we're at as far as we're all back in the same pot over here. Now everybody's back equal, right? 
So, uh, we'll get this tasted. Let's see where we're at. See what we need. Definitely going with the rest of them peppers. Not enough heat. I'll probably put a little bit of that. I think I'll chunk a little bit of guts in there too. Maybe let's do two of them. Two of the innards, the seed part. in the pot let me go grab another spoon in my opinion it needed more salt so i'm going in with some more salt so let's get this stirred up let's see where we're at there's the, the look of it Personally, I, I could stand a lot more heat than that. Uh, shoot, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to put some more heat to it. Oh, here's what I'm adding. I'm not even going to chart. I'm just going to chunk this whole uh, pepper in there. All right. Got that little darling. Put her on a chip. Y'all see it? And put that other pepper in there. Just ground it up and mixed everything back together. Very good. So y'all just pretty much yourself control the heat on it, you know. Definitely char the, the peppers, though. That gives it a little bit of charred flavor. I needed more salt. I can actually use a little bit more salt in there. Um, but we're going to roll with that. It's pretty good. 